you might have heard of the principle of least privilege. Everyone should only be granted the minimum permissions that are needed to perform their jobs. Grant too much access, and you've created security risk. Grant too little access, and soon enough, you'll be inundated with support tickets from users requesting that you grant them access to do their jobs. It's a balancing act between security and developer productivity. And it's one of those things that's easier said than done. On Google Cloud, there is a boatload of IAM roles loaded with dozens of individual permissions for a wide array of APIs and services. Google Cloud Active Assist has a whole category of tools under the security umbrella called Policy Intelligence. Policy Intelligence uses data and machine learning to help you optimize your IAM policies, troubleshoot access issues, better predict the impact of any permission changes across your project or organization, and simplify access reviews. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the services and tools that make up policy intelligence by imagining a few scenarios and asking a few questions that might come up. Let's say that you've got a cloud storage bucket that has some sensitive data in it. Question, who in my organization can read the files in this bucket? Answer that with Policy Analyzer, which can tell you which user accounts, service accounts, and groups have certain roles and permissions on a specific resource, including access gained through service account impersonation. OK, how about this? You've got a new employee joining the team who actually does need to use the files in that bucket, but looks like they can't access them with their user account. The question, why can't they access the bucket? The answer to this one is found with Policy Troubleshooter. You give it an email, a resource, and a permission, and Policy Troubleshooter will examine the IAM policies that apply to the resource to reveal whether any of the user's roles include the required permissions. It will also tell you whether or not the user is in a group that has those permissions. Next, you're doing an audit of your project's IAM roles and permissions and find that there's a service account that's been used in one of your application's backends. First, how do you make sure that this service account is still needed? For that, there's Activity Analyzer. Activity Analyzer lets you see when your service accounts and keys were last used to call a Google API. With the dates of the most recent authentication activity, you can more easily identify service accounts and service account keys that may no longer be in use and safe to deactivate or delete. OK, what if you learn that, yes, the service account is still in use, but it's also over-provisioned with extra permissions you think it doesn't need? What would happen if you swapped out one of those roles for a more restricted one? Answer, well, you could just make the change and see what breaks but that's probably not the best course of action. Instead, you can use Policy Simulator to simulate a policy change to make sure nothing breaks, and apply the change if you're satisfied with the results. This removes the risk of accidentally breaking an application or process by removing a role that you incorrectly thought was unnecessary. Finally, when it comes to the principle of least privilege, there's one more question that you might have. How do I start and make progress when I have lots of over-provisioned roles? Well, here's a great answer. I am Recommender. These are recommendations that automatically surface on your cloud console, letting you know when accounts may be over-provisioned with too many permissions. These recommendations are based on actual usage data and include alternative roles that you can grant instead with just a couple of clicks. Recommendations are updated constantly, and you have the option of dismissing them or applying them. And even after that, you can easily roll back the changes. Together, these tools make up Active Assist Policy Intelligence that makes applying the principle of least privilege less of a burden. In the next couple of videos in this series, I'm going to dig a little deeper into each of these tools so that you can get familiar with what they're capable of and understand when you would use each of them. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about policy intelligence, check out cloud.google.com slash policy intelligence.